Hey everybody, Anthony here, SpecialtyMotorCars.net. Got another nice town car to bring you this week, folks. 1997 Lincoln Town Car. It's an executive series, finished in probably one of the prettiest color combinations I have ever had. I don't think I've ever had one in this color before. This is Glacier Blue. And you can see it's got a full white padded vinyl top. And uh, it's got a beautiful white leather interior as well. A lot of people didn't know that Town Cars, or Lincoln I should say, offered white leather from the factory. Um, I believe in further years too, but in this vintage as well. I know I've had some 98 newer Town Cars with white leather. Uh, but it's a really nice, stunning color combination. And when you look at this car, you see the color combination on the top. You know this car came out of Florida. Uh, this car lived in Florida its entire life. Uh, started life at, in Stewart, Florida, and I bought it from the previous owner's estate out of Bushnell, Florida. Uh, I'm in a different location today filming, only because the other spot that I usually go to is about 10 miles up the road, and we are expecting rain. So I wanted to get this done. It's going to pour all day on Thursday. So I wanted to get this done so I could get this video up on Thursday or Friday uh, to show you this car. I prefer it to be sunny out because when the sun is on this car, it really glows that baby blue color with the white top. But get back to the car here. It's a 97 Executive Series. Like I said, Florida born and raised. And this car is in really nice shape. 52,000 original miles on this car. You can see that beautiful blue. It's like an ice blue. They call it glacier blue. Uh, windshield's in phenomenal shape. And that white vinyl top is absolutely beautiful. No tears or stitching coming apart. Really nice and clean. Definitely a garage car down there in Florida for this to be in this kind of condition. And you can see here, this is a uh, reflective barcode sticker for like a gated community type uh, residence. So this, this car lived in a gated community. Uh, it was probably a condo car or something like that. 97 if you've seen my older videos you know this would have to be an early production 97 to have that rear lighted light bar uh, which is very hard to find <laughs> for a 97 model year 97 they were starting to do away with some of that stuff uh, but you can see here all very very nice the uh the bar or, or uh, rope i think they call this that goes across the top all the buttons and snaps are in really nice shape the top is absolutely gorgeous on this car. Even in the high traffic areas, like on the driver's door here, very nice. We'll go around the car, I'll show you a few little minor, uh, you know, imperfections here and there. Headlights, you can see, are absolutely beautiful, crystal clear. Some light uh, bug marks on the front of the bumper here, you can see that. A couple light little freckles in the chrome there. Gorilla's in nice shape. Gold ornamentation. Headlight on this side is really clean too. Again, another indication that the car was a garage car because usually they, they get clouded up, uh, especially in the Florida sun. You can see a little chip there and a little scuff on the top there. A couple more little odd things right there. It's got the stainless wheel arch moldings and then the uh, imitation chrome on the bottom of the car as well. Another indication it came from Florida. Beautiful geometric, I think they call these a Y-spoke wheel, a 15-inch wrapped in brand new hand-cooked Kennedy tires. Really a nice tire. This is the first time I've used this model hand-cooked tire. I'm very impressed with uh, the tread design and the ride quality. Uh, you can see here a nice white stripe going down the side. All the trimmings around the window. A little bit of a scuff right there on the mirror. Come down the side here. No dings or anything I can see. There's a nice chrome door handles. And you know, all inside here, very clean. No rust in the dog legs. We usually see that up here. Another 15 inch uh, alloy wheel. Brand new tires all the way around. The front have dust shields from the factory, which is kind of nice. But you can see here, no corrosion on the wheels. Another indication of a Southern car. Uh, you can see here on the bumper chrome strip, there's those freckles that I've had on a few of these town cars. Not too bad on this one. 
not as bad as I've seen on some. Uh, very minor mark right there. On the top of the deck lid shows really nice. There's the sun trying to come through, obviously, as I already started the video. A little bit of a chip right there. A minor scuff on the corner of the bumper there. And a couple little marks, you know, I can see a little stress cracking there. And then there's those little freckles. Uh, the Lincoln insignia on the latch there. Again, a couple little more freckles. Uh, this weird staining right here. Kind of see like an orangish, yellowish stain on the corner there. You gotta really get up close to see that. Uh, again, that white stripe going down the side here. Indication that it was a probably factory stripe because those uh, these cars came striped from the factory with that one single stripe. Another beautiful alloy wheel, no corrosion. Brand new tire, that chrome on the bottom of the car. A couple little chips, I would say, on the door edge there. Keypad is in nice shape. The buttons aren't worn like they usually start to see there. I don't know if that's a little scuff or a rubbing. Maybe a greasy paw print. 97 was an odd year. All the other model years previous to this, they put Town Car here. And then they put the uh, series up in the quarter window. 97... They changed it, blacked out the window, except for the Cartier model, and they put executive and signature down there. You can see another beautiful alloy wheel. This fender trim here, you can see a little bit of a dent or a ding right there. And then there's a very slight indentation on the fender. It's very hard to see. Looks like someone may have rubbed up against something there. Corner light on this side is in nice shape come up over the hood I think I remember seeing right there a little bit of a ding and actually there's one way over there but that's an original Ford Carlite windshield I want to show you the inside of this beautiful town car that white leather interior we're gonna take it for a spin I got this town car running you can hear how quiet it is it's just a really nice running and driving car See the beautiful white leather interior and vinyl trimmings throughout. Two-tone, like a gray, which is a more common color. And then the white here has the door storage pockets, power drivers, and passenger seat on the other side. Nice clean speaker grills, your trunk and fuel release right there. Uh, you know, if you know me and you follow me on my channel here, you know I love the dashboards of these cars. Uh, I like the flowing lines. White leather interior. And here comes the sun just coming out behind me. All the jams are in nice shape. Carpet's really clean. Obviously, no rust. In the back here, similar situation. Clean door jams. Beautiful white leather interior with the sun showing a glare, obviously. Carpeting is in really nice shape. Even the headliner is in nice shape. Now these, like normal, these things kind of flop open, so those are now permanently closed. Uh, I just dab a little glue on the uh, little rubber stops just to hold them closed. Very weak point in these cars. The springs break off the back of those, and they're near impossible to fix. Inside this jam, nice and clean. Get that Lincoln insignia right on the threshold there. Same on this side. Close all the window switches. I think I have, yeah, I got the rear windows locked. Uh, beautiful upholstery on this car. Carpeting is in nice shape. Rear shelf, back seat is really nice. I like how they kept like a light gray um, seat belts in these cars. Uh, white leather interior is really nice. Again, nice and clean, no rust. Looks like I could have done a better job in that door jam. A little door pocket there. Powered passenger seat as well. 
speaker grill nice and clean. You got the unlock and lock button right here. And then the power seat forward and back. See inside the jam there, nice and clean. Dashboard, beautiful. No cracks in the dash pad. Carpeting. Really a fresh car. Interior with the white leather. Nice and soft. There is a little bit of wear you can see here on like some of these higher like ribs, like almost like something wore. Well, I guess probably someone from being in the car probably did that, but it presents very well. She's a beautiful car. All right, we're inside the town car. We'll start it up. I do have uh, one key and one remote here uh, for this town car. Fifty-two thousand three hundred miles. Interior is in really nice shape. There is a little bit of wear on the top. I'll tilt it down. You can see a couple little. If camera can focus on that. Yep. Right there, a couple little chips. One there, two right there as well. And then over here, looks like at some point they had something on the dash, maybe a you know Sacred Heart Auto League tag. That's what you'd usually see in something like this. And there's a little bit of excess dried up glue that's kind of pretty much hardened by now. Automatic headlights, your steering sensitivity control, locks and unlock switches, like I said before. Pop that trunk and the hood. I don't think I gave you a good shot of the driver's seat. Driver's seat's in nice shape. Shows a little bit of wear. You can see up here as well when you get up close to it. A few spots here and there. But overall shows nice. The white leather interior. It's really probably hard to, hard to keep clean when it comes to the wind. Super clean, 4.6 liter V8, Florida car, so no rust and corrosion. Has a recent battery, date on the top, I can read it from here, it's 5 2020. You can see all the brake parts here. Uh, I did just do an oil change to the car. Like I said, four wheel tires are brand new. Uh, upper and lower ball joints in the front and a new radiator in this one as well come around to the back you can see all four floor mats the factory floor mats freshly shampooed and a little thing on that one a little bit of wear on that one but to be expected the two rear ones Let's see here the mini spare jack is up there as well uh, that's the on and off switch for the um, air suspension close the trunk lid down pull down works perfectly all right let's take this town car for a spin uh, I wanted to show you that that rear window does work actually all four I, know I tried that back one but my window was locked all right I absolutely love these town cars automatic door locks and away we go just a, such a nice riding car. I mean, get the air on nice and cool. Actually, spring is coming, so they say, uh, which I'm excited for. Uh, but we've been getting a little bit of rain lately, which has made it tough for me to do my videos outside. So, all right. A really enjoyable car this town car like i said all new tires ball joints recent battery this one's ready to go uh my number is 978-930-1004 folks if you don't follow me my name is anthony from specialty motor cars uh, if you like what you see hit that subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner uh, i get tons of town cars like these in all the time my favorite generations but i get all types of lincoln town cars old and new uh, Cadillac, Buicks, big mom and pop cars, as I say. 
Uh, my father and I, I call him Papa Bear. My father and I, we go around looking for him, hunting for him. And uh, sometimes we go and pick him up. Sometimes we have him shipped in, but we go through him, get him up to speed. Uh, so your support on my channel, I really appreciate it. You're really supporting a uh, father-son uh, duo here. And uh, I'm truly blessed to be able to do what I do uh, with my father. So I appreciate all the support on the channel. Likes, comments down below. Uh, really makes my father especially uh, get all warm and fuzzy. He thinks he's a superstar now. Uh, but you can see here, back to the town car. She cruises nicely. Uh, if anybody has any questions, don't let uh, a, you know a dream like this you know, hold you back. Uh, I can get this car delivered right to your front door. I handle all the shipping in and out of my building. Uh, so I can help you out with that as well. 978-930-1004. Uh, price of this car is going to be $99.95. If you have any questions, give me a call. 978-930-1004. I appreciate everybody tuning in and watching my, my weekly videos. Uh, and we'll talk to you again on the next one.